What do these people have in common? They've all been vaccinated against COVID-19 and they all got headaches after their vaccination. Indeed, headache is the most common neurological symptom after vaccination against COVID-19. But what exactly do these headaches look like? And how can they be differentiated from other headaches, such as migraine or cerebral venous thrombosis? You will know all that by the end of this video abstract. And you'll know even more after you've read the underlying recent paper in the journal Brain Communications. How are these headaches classified? And how are they diagnosed? The novel coronavirus causes the infectious disease COVID-19. Newly developed messenger RNA vaccines can prevent the spread of the virus. Detailed information about the clinical characteristics of headache after vaccination against COVID-19 have not yet been described. Therefore, in our study, we wanted to know exactly what these headaches look like. The international classification of headache disorders does not yet classify any vaccination-associated headaches. It also does not list any diagnostic criteria for such headaches. In addition, the messenger RNA COVID-19 vaccines are used for the very first time. So the question is, do we have a new form of headache? The currently undergoing global vaccination campaign against COVID-19 allows this new form of headache to be studied parallel to the vaccinations. In a multi-center observational cohort study, data on the clinical features were recorded using a standardized online questionnaire. The questionnaire was circulated to 12,000 residential care homes of the elderly, as well as university hospitals in Germany and the United Arab Emirates. To describe the phenotype, we followed the structure of the international headache classification. So again, the main question was, do we have a new form of headache? Let's talk about the results now. In our study, we looked at over 2,000 patients and found a very specific headache phenotype. Regarding the temporal characteristics, headache started 14 hours after vaccination and lasted an average of 18 hours. The headache intensity again was very specific and was usually described as moderate or severe. And the headache character was described as pressing or dull in most cases. Headache localization was most usually on the forehead or on the temples and was described bilateral by most patients. The accompanying symptoms were particularly characteristic. Fatigue, exhaustion and muscle pain were reported by most patients, which is different to most other forms of headaches. So, in conclusion, taking all these symptoms together, we can delineate a very specific headache phenotype and this allows us to differentiate it from other forms of headaches. Why are these findings important for clinical practice? Headaches after COVID-19 vaccination show a broad but very characteristic symptom complex. They can be differentiated from primary headaches by time course, headache characteristics and associated symptoms. This is important for the counseling of vaccinated patients who are worried about their headaches in the medical consultation. Our results also allow differentiation from headaches due to cerebral venous thrombosis. The latter headaches usually don't start before five days after vaccination and also have a different set of associated symptoms. Usually headaches attributed to vaccination against COVID-19 took an episodic form and lasted an average of 18 hours. But there are some rarer cases where headaches lasted much longer days or weeks. And this also happened in some patients who've never experienced headaches before. So it is important to know about those cases as well. Whether the headache phenotype that we've just described is the same or different with other vaccines against COVID-19 is still unclear and subject of further studies. You can read this and much more in detail in our new paper in Brain Communications.